Hey everyone in YouTube land, it's me, Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry in advance for not making any videos in a while, but it's for a very simple reason, and I already mentioned it in my last video that I made on the 4th of July. Um, I don't have my laptop right now because I put it in the pawn shop because that's how broke I was at that moment. And I guess technically still am, but um, that's besides the point. So I d just decided to make another one of these videos where I just turn on the camera and press record. So. Actually, why do I still have these sunglasses on? Let me put my regular glasses that, sure, maybe I, I'm i not going to look as cool, even though I don't know why the hell I would say I look cool with these, with, with just because I'm simply wearing sunglasses. But anyways, <clears throat> so I made a video. Um, the last video I made was on July 4th, and I severely underestimated what's going to happen what ha would happen with hurricane barrel um i am fine my aunt is fine but that was a stressful period because it was a very weird hollow feeling dealing with that hurricane because i didn't get i didn't my home didn't deal I didn't have any damage at all and my aunt is okay but it was more so what happened after the hurricane that became a big problem where I'm very lucky because I didn't have power on j just Monday but then 9 a.m. Tuesday so the day after the hurricane, everything, the power came back on. But I know how lucky I am because there were so many people that don't have power. And I'm, I think most of Houston has power now. I don't know. If you live in the Houston area, you tell me in the comments if you have power or not, how long it took. Because I just feel very lucky that nothing bad happened, but... The hard part was I could barely get a cell phone signal while driving around, so I couldn't work for four days. So that meant I had I was I had to be late on my payment for paying off for paying this rental car with Hertz. And so I called them up, and this is why they are so much better than Avis. I called them up, explained, you know, the hurricane happened. I don't have enough money for to pay my rental on Thursday because there was, I, I seriously couldn't drive at all. No cell phone signal means no passengers. And even when there was a cell phone signal, I was getting maybe one passenger every hour. And then that one ride would only be like less than $10. So I called them up, said all that, that I just said now. And they said, don't worry about it. Just pay it on Monday. Oh man, you don't know the sigh of relief I felt when I felt that. So I felt so much better. But yeah, I'm doing fine. Uh, I just can't make the full types of videos I make where I'm live streaming or any videos of me playing because I need to have that laptop in order to do any of that. But I told myself I'm just making an excuse for not making videos because that video that that blew me up you know I hate fucking I don't even know why I'm even talking about it bringing that old chestnut back out of the bag but that video was the same exact format the, the same way that most people found me was just me in a car talking to the camera on my phone and I'm doing good like I I I don't have anything to complain about I really don't because when you think about it, like, I was very lucky. I didn't, I only lost power for one day. So while, yeah, it sucked, I couldn't work. At the very least, I got to 
stay home and I got to catch up on Monday Night Raw because that's the other thing about me which I'm sure maybe some people saw that WWE video where I was playing 2K23 and having a good time with it I want to get back into it when I get my PS5 back from the pawn shop but because yeah th having both of those things uh you know like yeah it sucks but at least I got a roof over my head so that's the thing that I'm dealing with now is um, what's been keeping me occupied instead of freaking out saying, oh no, what am I going to do? I don't have my laptop. I don't have my PS5. What am I going to do? Instead, you know, that almost sounded like an Aziz and sorry impression, just like a little bit. <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. I want to uh, start doing stand up comedy because I've done it a couple of times. Uh, I have some jokes lined up. Uh, I don't know what the policy is on comedy clubs, if they allow people to record on their phones to, uh, just to see how it goes, but that's something that I've been really wanting to do for a while. That way I can be com completely comfortable on stage because that's another good technique to uh, help get rid of your anxiety is go to karaoke nights, perform stand-up at the open mic nights, and then perform with my band. Um, but yeah, it's just sometimes I keep making all, up all these excuses in my head, but it's like I said in that other video from a while ago, I think and it was like a couple months ago, I made that video where I was wearing that my gray long sleeve shirt and I said, uh, keep showing up. I stopped showing up and the only thing I was thinking about was watching was either drive for uber go home watch raw or smackdown or watch whatever matches because i have i'm ter i don't i haven't really talked about this on camera maybe i should save this for a completely separate video but i have become a gigantic wwe fan it was so unexpected but you know i watched wrestlemania 40 because i wanted to know what it looked like to see the rock wrestle live because The Rock is, like, I know, it's, I don't know if it's a stereotype or if some people, like, ha will, will hate on me for saying The Rock is my favorite wrestler, but, yeah, it's true. The Rock is my favorite wrestler, but, um, if you want to know my list, because I've only been watching since, since WrestleMania 40, so, major, yeah, I've only been a wrestling fan for three months, but I'm kicking myself because I should have been watching when I was a kid. Just like how I was kicking myself how I stopped watching the NBA after Michael Jordan retired from the Wizards. It's like, I should have been watching this entire time. I hate that I didn't that the bug didn't hit me until now, but lots of people tell me right now is an amazing time to get into wrestling because pretty much it's like uh, Triple H. It, like The fact that I became a giant wrestling fan at 30 years old is pretty much a testament to... Triple H fulfilling his goal. It's like he wants to bring in new people and now I'm a new person. Now I'm enjoying it uh, every single week. So yes, I'm looking forward to SummerSlam. Um, I really, really want Cody Rhodes to beat the ever-loving shit out of Solo Sokoa because I can't stand Solo and this is coming from me, a guy that wanted Roman to beat Cody. But then again, I didn't know anything about Cody, but I knew a little bit about Roman, which is why I was rooting for him. But now that I've been watching Cody, he's, he's growing on me. Now, whereas, you know, it's like, it's so funny though, my aunt hates Cody. Because, yes, we watch, me and my aunt, me and my 73-year-old aunt, we watch wrestling together. <laughs> Which, I don't know how many other people, like, watch wrestling together like that uh, as a family. But I, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with Bo Dallas and the Wyatts. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen when they come back. Because um, I never really knew much about Bray Wyatt like I remember seeing the news that he passed away last was it last year but I just I didn't know anything about him like I heard people talk about him like he was gonna carry the torch from the Undertaker after the Undertaker retired but I just don't know but uh anyway they, I don't want to ramble on too long because I feel like rambling on for too long is what happens in a, a ton of my videos and I don't want to like go on and on and on forever 
But uh, anyway, we're getting close to 10 minutes here, so I think I'll just wrap it up by telling you who my, as of, with my very limited knowledge of the WWE, I can tell you who my favorite wrestlers are um, right now, uh, as of this moment. It could change, but as of right now, my favorite wrestlers are The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, The Undertaker, um... I'll throw John Cena in there because, like, I saw Money in the Bank. That was a huge moment. Like, I felt the impact of that moment when he said he's retiring. So, I've been trying to catch up, uh, like, appreciate John Cena while he's still wrestling. So, I went back. I watched uh, WrestleMania 31 where he beat Rusev for the United States Championship. That was pretty cool. Okay, now it's getting late. Okay, now the sun... It's starting to bother me. Time to bring these back out. Uh, okay. Because <clears throat> I've been working on some impressions. I'm not going to do them right now because they are really bad. But I've been working on some wrestling impressions. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but. Anyway. I just wanted to talk about what's been going on. Ever, I'm fine from Hurricane Barrel. It was a pain in the ass to have to wait for more than one hour at the gas station. But I also wanted to say, announce officially, yes, I am a WWE fan now. I'm, it makes me very happy. You know, now I've got a sport to watch. Well, it's sports entertainment or whatever they call it. But um, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, Seeing my progression, my evolution as a wrestling fan, that's going to be very fun, especially like when when uh, the WWE moves over to Netflix in January. I'm very excited about that. But I'm just glad that I have something to watch, uh, something to look forward to during the NBA offseason because I'm also really looking forward to Team USA on the Olympics. Um, other than that, I, I guess I don't even know. What, what am I going to... Okay, I guess I'll just call this... Um, I guess I'll just call this uh, video uh, talking about Hurricane Barrel and being a new WWE fan. I'm sure that'll be a okay title to use. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on now. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully it's not, like, too long of a wait. But I just have to remember, got to listen to my own advice. Keep showing up. See you next time.